six. Tire protection. People and machinery face a huge range of challenges in quarries, mines, and similar places. One of the main problems is the adverse and sometimes even aggressive soil on which the heavy vehicles move. Despite the fact that tires for specialized equipment have increased strength, there is a fairly high chance of damage. It in turn leads to new problems. Replacing the tires takes a long time, the equipment isn't used, and you keep losing money and resources. What you see on your screen is a way to solve all of these problems at once. If a heavy machine is operating in aggressive conditions, you can equip its tires with protection chains. In general, wheel chains can have a variety of uses. Some, for example, increase the traction, preventing the vehicle from sliding. The chains shown on the screen have mainly a protective function. The metal creates a barrier, making the tires resistant to cuts, punctures, and other damage. It's noteworthy that the design covers the most vulnerable parts of the tire, the tread and the sidewall. Moreover, this protection system allows you to extend the service life of the vehicle. Depending on the type of chain, the manufacturer and the materials, its durability varies from 1,000 to 16,000 operating hours. Interestingly, the chains are installed manually almost without any tools. However, to perform the procedure quickly and easily, the worker, as well as the operator behind the wheel, need to show discipline, experience, and teamwork. Five. 3D Beton Casco Modern construction companies are working on newer and more sophisticated technologies to speed up and simplify the process of building houses. Several years ago, the Dutch company Casco Total presented an innovative solution for building private homes. You can see this method, known as 3D Beton Casco, on the screen. How does it work, though? The specialists assemble the frame of the residential building using pre-manufactured reinforced concrete elements. The complex modules are cast in the factory, joined together and finished. Then the structure is transported to the place where the house will be located. This building method has many advantages. First of all, the construction time is reduced. On average, building a small house using this method takes about five days. The modules quickly become the floors, the walls and the ceilings of the new house, and their surface can be decorated right away. Doors and windows are created during the module casting process using special molds. That is, there's no need to waste time cutting the openings. The finished structure then has enough strength, and it doesn't need to be reinforced. Another advantage is that the building process takes place indoors, so the season and the weather conditions do not matter. Four. Geodesic Dome here is an amazing construction with an extremely unusual appearance. Moreover, thanks to the special construction technology used to build it, this dome has some very interesting features. But let's start from the beginning. First of all, we should explain that a geodesic dome is a hemispherical thin shell structure based on a geodesic polyhedron. As you can see, instead of walls, they're made of mainly identical triangular elements. In this case, they are assembled from wooden panels. A unique feature of the structure is that its load-bearing capacity is much higher than it may seem at first sight. The secret lies in the fact that the structure consists of a huge number of elements. And the structural stress is distributed throughout the frame. 
Interestingly, thanks to its special shape, the construction of geodesic domes is relatively simple. For example, a 50-meter structure can be erected without a construction crane, and this 80-meter dome which you see on the screen was built in just a week. Pay attention to the small size of each individual construction element. They are light and convenient, which greatly facilitates the building process. Three. Equipta RB4000 and RB2000 Any construction or repair work ends up producing a lot of heavy, often oversized, waste. Cleaning this mess up is pretty expensive, both in terms of money and time. The RB4000, which you see on the screen, takes the cleaning of construction sites to a whole new level. It's a compact, mobile roofing trailer with a lifting mechanism. Thanks to these features, the RB4000 can be parked next to the building, and the waste can be thrown from the roof or through a window directly into the spacious cargo area. As it fills up, the unit transports the load to a lorry or a garbage can. The manufacturer offers several models that differ in size and capacity. For example, the RB4000 rises to a height of 3.6 meters and can withstand up to 1,800 kilograms of waste. The RB2000, meanwhile, is a more compact model. It rises to a height of up to 2 meters, and the volume of the cargo area is 864 liters. Encon Attachments We are used to thinking that excavators are designed for a limited number of simple tasks, such as digging. However, the possibilities of any average excavator are almost limitless. That's because today's manufacturers offer a huge variety of attachments. Here, for example, we can see an Atlas 160-watt excavator with the proper equipment to move on railway tracks. An Encon tilt rotator is attached to its boom. It is a specialized device that combines the key qualities of a rotator and a hydraulic mechanism. It offers additional advantages, as it allows you to rotate any attachment both horizontally and vertically. On top of the tilt rotator, in this case, you can see an attachment designed to work with the railroad ties. Together, all this equipment is mobile and powerful enough to pull the cross ties out from under the rails and then insert the new ones. Needless to say, using such specialized equipment increases the speed and efficiency of work. One. Welding Robots The last invention we'll show today is intended to automate welding processes carried out on many construction sites. Welding is the process of joining metal parts together. The elements are welded together using high temperatures, which create new interatomic bonds between them. Traditionally, welding has been a manual labor, although it is a heavy and moderately dangerous work. Therefore, today, there are some machines that can perform this procedure. This video shows two welding robots at work. Both were developed by specialists from the Dutch company Valk Welding. Interestingly, these machines are created in several stages. In addition to assembling the robot itself, special software must be created for each individual unit. Thanks to this approach, welding robots can work in a wide variety of production halls and handle countless tasks. This video shows, for example, how a welding robot welds aluminium scaffolding. But not only the welding tool is working. 
The workstation secures the elements in place and rotates them so that it's easier for the robot to perform its work. And here, the robot performs arc welding of a line pipe.